Hello, my name is Zillian St. Hilaire, and I want to show you a little bit about Mesh Central. This is a portal for managing all your computers from anywhere in the world. So I'm going to go ahead and log in, and I have a bunch of computers already set up to the portal. So when I click on the computer tab, computers tab, I'm going to see the list of all the computers in my network and their current power state. This lags by about two minutes. So if a, a computer goes on or off, just expect a two minute lag on this information. Some of the computers I don't have any information right now, so they're completely, um, there's no state uh, reported. Now also some of the computers have Intel AMT. You can see which version of AMT we're using, what provisioning state, and whether AMT is currently part of the mesh or not part of the mesh. So if you click, take a look at power state, it will show you a 24 hour timeline of each computer. It's currently 440, so this is about where we are in the day. And you can see computers are sleeping, computers that are on. And if you look at uh, previous day in the week, you can see computers that are in S5 uh, here, in S3 here. Um, you can see computers that went off the network or computers that have rebooted uh, and be, uh, been a little bit uh, off the network. So that's why there's this gap there. Now, of course, if you have Intel AMT and you go to sleep, you see these colors. If you don't have Intel AMT and you go to sleep, you'll see a blank uh, because we got no other information about that computer. Now you can click on a computer and see the last seven days of power state. This computer is always on. The current IP addresses and provisioning state and OS of this computer. You can see other computers that it sees nearby. And there's a button called power state where you can do basic uh, power operations, wake up, go to sleep, reboot, and so on remotely. Okay, so I'm not going to do that, but from the website, you get a basically a, an idea of how to uh, monitor your computer and do very basic management uh, power operations. There is also a feature called Mesh Map. This shows you the internals of how the peer-to-peer -peer network is working. You see each computer that is on, is monitoring up to 20 other computers. Computers that are off are being monitored by the computers that are on. And basically computers take turn. Computers that are on at any given time monitor the computers that are off at any given time. So it's, it is important that you have at least uh, one or a few computers on on your network at, you know, to monitor the computers that are uh, sleeping. If you sleep them all at the same time, then the website will get no report. Okay. So this is pretty good. The website is, is nice and you can access this from anywhere and, and manage and uh, power control your computers from anywhere. But if you really want to do uh, powerful operations, you will have to use Manageability Commander Mesh Edition. Now this is just like the normal commander that we've used before, but you can say view, show agent discovery, and now this commander will go and find all the AMT machines on your local network automatically. It will find uh, the computers that are powered on or sleeping, no matter what, uh, no matter what state. And it does this by basically going through the local peer-to-peer -peer mesh network on your local network to find all these machines. So it's just basically walking that mesh. There's also a single sign-on, so when you go ahead and connect to any of these machines, all you need to know is the mesh administrator password, and the tool will infer the Intel password and uh, use that for this, uh, for connecting. So you don't need to worry about where your machines are, uh, what power state they're in, if your machines move all the time, it doesn't matter. At any given time, all the machines that are on your local network will show up here and you have a single sign-on system so you don't need to worry about uh, about having a uh, the, you know one password a different password for each machine there are in the background a different password for each machine but it's all protected using the single uh, amt mesh administrator password okay now this is pretty cool but this is not the best part the best part is that if i install this this software on any computer, it doesn't have to be a meshed computer, by the way, for this software to run. I can say add online service. I can log in using my web credentials. This is the same username and password I used for the website. I'll say remember. And now I'm going to log into the website using this tool. So I'm going to go ahead and connect. And now you see all the Intel AMT machines 
that you saw on the website earlier. So on the website there was more machines, but this tool only sees the Intel AMT machines. And from here, I can click and connect to any computer from anywhere. Um, now this, this is done by having the website relay the traffic of the connection through the website back down to the peer-to-peer -peer mesh. Uh, you can use this to do circuit breaker hardware asset, um, event log, eventually it's going to the, load the event log here, and you can also take control and do serial overland ID redirect. So if you want to reboot a computer uh, remotely to uh, BIOS, change BIOS settings, or you want to reboot the computer uh, into uh, another OS or something like that, you can do this. Now I gotta say the rebooting right now, rebooting the OS uh, or another OS through either using this technique is kind of slow because of course it's bouncing the traffic back and forth over the internet. So it's, it is uh, slow, but it does work. Okay, so this is a quick review of the Manageability Commander tool and the Mesh Central website or management web, web portal for you managing your computers and monitoring your computers from anywhere in the world. Please give us feedback. Thank you.